Maybe you think this is a thrill. But try telling that to someone who'd prefer reading a book. Or try telling it to this mouse. His survival depends on hiding. But this mouse is more adventurous. He's missing a gene that scientists say may control risky behavior. The gene, called NeuroD2, helps form cells in the part of the brain called the amygdala. It's a very ancient part of the brain and it takes in the cues from our environment and helps us work with those immediate cues to know whether we should be afraid, whether we should react. Jim Olson and his team of researchers at Seattle's Fred Hutchinson Cancer Institute found that mice genetically altered to lack the gene are bigger risk takers. As they wrote in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the mice without the gene were much more likely to go out on this narrow, unprotected walkway. And so they place themselves at risk and don't seem to be aware that they should be uh, afraid of being elevated in the air on this maze. While risk-taking people don't lack this gene, because everybody's genes are slightly different, Olson says those differences may be clues into our behavior. What I'm hoping is that we'll have a much better understanding of the physiologic basis for why we take risks, why some people are risk-averse, why some people are thrill-seekers. So whether your thrills are from books or snowboards, it looks like your definition of a thrill is influenced by your genes. I'm Brad Closer.